What's going on YouTube? Geothan right here. Today we're discussing a very important new vulnerability that could definitely be useful for jailbreak purposes, especially if you have a newer device on iOS 18.2.1 and lower, for example, and you want to jailbreak sooner than later. So the CVE 2025-24085 is actually quite a huge one. This one was actually used to attack somebody. So the hackers used this in an attack against devices and Apple has indeed patched it but apparently it wasn't fully patched and it is quite powerful. There's talks about this vulnerability being persistent so like untethered and it could definitely be useful for jailbreak purposes because it's very powerful indeed. Now this uh, report over here was posted on Reddit cybersecurity a day ago and it details the vulnerability itself. We knew about the vulnerability because it was actually patched in iOS 18.3 or at least Apple tried to patch it in iOS 18.3 and it is in here in core media. So you can find it over here it says it affects iPhone XS and the newer and a malicious application may be able to elevate privileges and Apple is aware of a report that this this issue may have been actively exploited. Now it does seem to have been exploited and the person who was victim of it posted this report over here. So apparently the way this vulnerability works is by using an exploit in iMessage which bypasses their security feature the Blastdoor sandbox and then it is a WebKit vulnerability that is being triggered and then of course it gets access to Keychain and to the uh, device network to change it through a rogue proxy and stuff like that. So more attacker stuff but this could essentially be useful for jailbreak purposes since in order to do all this stuff it actually requires quite a powerful vulnerability which includes a sandbox bypass you know root privileges and so on a couple of weeks ago back in january we got this report here apple fixes actively exploited zero day vulnerability and it's the same vulnerability over here and we know that it affects newer devices so everything newer than iphone 10 and it actually works up to ios 18.3 which patches the vulnerability however according to the person who posted the report and apparently is one of the victims this is not fully patched in iOS 18.3 and it does work even on iOS 18.3.1 to some extent if you go ahead here in the comments the OP said that quote I'm a victim of this attack not a researcher the report was drafted after reverse engineering the exploit it was sent to Apple on January 28 Apple unfortunately did not detect a security issue while also issuing a patch an incomplete one I might add the exploit is still workable after after retesting on iOS 18.3.1. So it seems that Apple failed to properly patch this vulnerability and it's quite a huge one, especially since it allows elevated privileges on iOS and it does have the zero click method, which means that you would get an iMessage containing an image, a malformed image, and that would be it. You don't have to click it, you don't have to open it, you don't have to do anything. That would trigger the vulnerability and that would infect the device. Quite powerful and definitely usable for jailbreak purposes, although it seems that Apple did not do a good job patching the issue. If you are interested in jailbreaking, you should go ahead here on iDeviceCentral.com, click on the jailbreak tools and check out the latest jailbreak tools available for all iOS versions. We do keep a listing here and we update it regularly. This video is brought to you by 8KSec. They provide the course on how to find your own iOS vulnerabilities, exploit them, and understand better the iOS security. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Peace out.